I'm talking with Brian here at the 2014 LA Auto Show, who's the design manager of Cadillac. Hi, Brian. Hi. So I am interested, what is the influences that you cite for this new changes that are coming with Cadillac? Well, you know, Cadillac is a, a very storied, historical, American luxury brand, and um, we try to mix in a little bit of our of our past, a little bit of our heritage, but we're really about looking towards the future. So if you look at our, uh, for instance, our vertical lighting, um, we have these very strong vertical uh, light signature, both front and rear. This is something that kind of harkens to our past. Our, you know, Cadillacs in the past 50s, 60s, 70s, even through the 80s, had these vertical, uh, vertical corners, vertical blades, vertical lamps in the rear. And uh, we think it makes us very distinctive, stand out in the marketplace that way. But we're also trying to uh, really add sophistication and sculpture and beauty into our surfaces. You notice the cars have got great proportions now, long hoods, uh, wheels to the corners in the front, very short overhang, um, uh, long, nice long fender, lines that work from all the way from the front to the back to help stretch the car out, make it feel taut, lean, muscular, and athletic. Um, but we're also trying to add that uh, richness and technology in the details, in the lighting, in the grill textures, in the, for, the, for instance, this car, the, the wheels, the brakes, um, the brake calipers themselves, beautiful finishes, um, excellent execution, things that hit the craftsmanship and, and uh, you know, really being screwed together with precision. Cadillac's philosophy about making a sports car that's drivable, what is that exactly? Well, we like to call it performance without punishment. Uh, the car's got all the performance capability to go out on the racetrack on the weekends and uh, drive around flat out and the brakes won't fade, the car won't overheat, to be able to do that all day long and then drive home with the air conditioning on, the Bose stereo playing your favorite music and be in perfect comfort on the way home. So really this car is all about being comfortable, it doesn't crash and, and uh, ride harshly over the bumps, but it will hang with the best that any anyone in the, uh, in the world has to offer for handling, braking performance, acceleration, and top speed. Cadillac has changed a lot. I grew up, my grandparents were Cadillac lovers. I remember being in one in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and it changed so much over the decades. How are you guys staying relevant for the future? Well, the biggest thing at Cadillac is trying to get the message across that we are building reliable, well put together, uh, crafted cars. Our cars have cut and sewn interiors where the, the pieces are actually stitched together by hand in a sewing machine and uh, you know that gives us that air of craftsmanship and quality. Um, we're also trying to appeal to a younger customer. Cars like B-Series, uh, ATS. ATS itself, the, the buyers of ATS, 70% of them have never owned a Cadillac before and that's huge for us. We're growing our brand, younger buyers, but that's going to take us into the future. I know, and they are so beautiful. Can we take a look inside? You'll see inside the same great interior that's in the base ATS, but in this case, a lot of the finishes are upgraded. There's real carbon fiber on the dash and the door trim. The touch points, the steering wheel, the shifter, uh, oh, are coated in suede, microfiber. <laughs> that feels really nice. Is this a stick shift? This one is a manual. Manual. Six feet. Uh, got uh, specially made Recaro seats designed specifically for this car that are uh, an option. Look at the depth of this bolster. It really holds you in the seat in the corners. Wow. This is what I think of when I think of Cadillac. Luxurious, beautiful to look at, and fun to drive. Thank you so much for talking with me, and I'm looking forward to the future of Cadillac. Absolutely. Thank you. I got a chance to talk with the manager of design of Cadillac, and now I'm going to get a close up personal relationship with the two cars he spoke about. I'm very excited about this line because I do love a sports car. Now, I'm partial to two door sports cars, but if someone wants to give me a four door, I am happy with that as well. So, let's get up close and see 
what we have in store for those of us who are looking for sport cars. Now, as you can see, the seat is beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's got the the suede for softness and then the leather for longevity. The interior design is definitely made for someone to enjoy being in their car with two coffee cup holders with the inside middle computers that you can um, access everything easily as well as having all of the electronics on the steering column so that you won't have to take your eyes off the road. The other, the um, dimmer and everything is right here. It's close enough so you can just, you know, take your hand over. Looks like they'll have the GPS and everything else that everyone expects from this level of car. And now to figure out how to open up the trunk. I'm assuming it is... Uh, I have no idea. Let's guess. <laughs> Hi! Oh, we're just, we're being, we're being, we were just having a little bit of that is... It's a beautiful car. And now we are going to check this out. Oh wow, it looks like this opens up for storage, as well as the back seat just folding out completely. I'm excited to see what the... Now, the trunk in this car is very large, and I love the fact that the back seat folds out completely to create even more storage, as well as these little storage compartments to be able to put all the things people need to enjoy themselves. The ATS sports redesign is definitely going to be a major contender with BMW. I love this white car. Normally I'm not a white car person, but this graphite, graphite finish is beautiful, quite arresting. So this is a two-door coupe, which I think looks just as beautiful as a four-door. But more appealing, I kind of like the two-door. I think that the seat design in this, with the two color and the two finishes, looks really good. As well as just the overall design, which is exactly the same as in the four-door. Let's check out the trunk, which is very conveniently to open right here in the door. And, just slightly lift it. Now, since this is a two-door versus a four-door, the back is a little bit different, but you can still fold it out so you get, like, all the storage. But it doesn't have the little hole above this one for extra storage, but this is a lot of room. It looks big enough where you could probably have a tire back here in case you ever get a flat. Very nice. 